Time is running out on one of the most exciting ways that you can save on a monthly repayment with Parent Plus loans. What's going on, everybody? I'm Danny Sinowitz, the college dude. So you may be familiar with Parent Plus loans. If you have one, you may have an opportunity to lower your monthly payment drastically. The process that we're going to talk about today is called the double consolidation loophole. Let's first start with a brief background on what Parent Plus loans are. Feel free to check out the link to my video in which you can find out a little bit more about what Parent Plus loans are, how you can work yourself to get a $0 repayment, and some of the public service loan forgiveness options that are available to you as a Parent Plus loan borrower. You may be familiar with refinancing and consolidation options with a Parent Plus loan. It's a parent loan for undergraduate students, so it's in the parent's name only. It's not under the student's name. Some parents want to get that loan out of his or her name. That's a plan that definitely has its pros and cons. But if you're looking to find out how the best way to do that, it's worth checking out this video that I'm linking to as well. That being said, you have an opportunity, if you have a Parent PLUS loan, to keep those payments in the federal repayment system. And you can also keep yourself eligible for public service loan forgiveness and get onto one of the best repayment plans available to you. A brief background of how the process works. So to start, Parent PLUS loans need to be consolidated in order to go onto an income-driven repayment plan. There are four different types of income-driven repayment plans, but the only one that's available to a consolidated Parent PLUS loan is the Income Contingent Repayment Plan, which takes into account 20% of discretionary income above the federal poverty level. Some of these other plans, such as the revised pay-as-you-earn plan or the pay-as-you-earn plan, can range from anywhere from 10 to 15%. So if you're able to get into one of those plans, you could be cutting your payment in half. The problem is, a Consolidated Parent PLUS loan is not eligible for the pay-as-you-earn or the repay plan. However, there is a workaround and you can figure out how to do that by watching the rest of this video. Now, to be very clear, this is actually a loophole. You will not see this advertised by your student loan provider that this is something that you can do. And to make matters worse, this option is going to be going away. This option will no longer be available to parents starting in July of 2025. The other thing that you have to understand is there's a process. It could take up to six months in order to complete this if you plan to actually utilize this. The time is now to look to do this double consolidation process. The first criteria is you need to have at least two Parent PLUS loans available to you in order to do the double consolidation plan. The way that it works at a very high level is that you can then utilize a paper application to take those Parent PLUS loans and turn them into what are called Direct Consolidation PLUS loans. You fill out the paperwork for that and you send to a federal student loan service provider. Once the application has been received and is processed, you should then have two separate Direct Consolidation PLUS loans. These Direct Consolidation PLUS loans can be then repaid on that Income Contingent Repayment Plan like we talked about. However, that's the only one that's available if you only consolidate once. But this is where the loophole and some of the magic can actually happen. If you then consolidate online after those two consolidations are complete, what can then happen is you can actually consolidate those consolidated loans. That's where the term double consolidation comes into play. If you utilize the online application to be able to then take those two previously consolidated loans and then consolidate them into one loan, the plus coding will actually fall off and it will no longer be considered a previously consolidated plus loan, which means you are then eligible for any of the income-driven repayment plans, including the revised pay-as-you-earn, which will be turning into the SAVE program, which can help parents significantly when it comes to repaying these loans. To be very clear, you want to make sure that you're working with a professional when it comes to actually completing this process because it is detailed and it is nuanced and you do not want to make mistakes because if you do, you could be stuck on that income contingent repayment plan. Therefore, you want to make sure that as you're going through this process, you're paying attention to the smaller details. The beauty of some of these new income driven repayment plans is that you can significantly lower your discretionary income as well 
because it's based off of your AGI, your adjusted gross income. So how can you lower your adjusted gross income either f- even further? You should take into consideration, but not necessarily do this, take into consideration married filing separately tax status, contributing to pre-tax retirement accounts, contributing to an HSA. There are a few other items that you can look at from a tax planning standpoint, but by lowering the amount of income in the, the parent plus holder's name, that can allow you to significantly decrease the amount that you have to pay on a monthly basis for the loan. To briefly recap, the double consolidation strategy is available to parents who have at least two parent plus loans in his or her name. It can take up to six months to complete this process and it's closing as of July, 2025. So you wanna make sure you give yourself enough time to buffer and make sure that this process is in time to be able to get onto one of the income driven repayment plans. You'll start by doing two separate paper applications and then a third online application when it comes to the consolidation of this. You really wanna make sure that you are using the federal loan system and working with a provider who helps process federal student loans. If you go the private route or try to utilize a private company, you can no longer utilize the double consolidation strategy And even worse, you may not even have any of the protections that are available to you under the federal repayment system. It is absolutely critical that you do work with a professional to make sure that you're doing this properly. As always, please note that the information provided here is educational in nature, and none of the information that's provided here should be taken as a specific recommendation. Be sure to work with your professional, whether that be a tax preparer, student loan advisor, or your financial planner to make sure that you are utilizing their advice and the specific recommendations that makes the most sense for your situation. If you found this information to be helpful, please feel free to share this video, like it, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Until next time.